Hi guys, how you doing today? This is Steve, Guru Brew. Today we're playing around with a vacuum former machine. This one I built myself um, using the CNC machine. And um, I built it and I put it away and I never really have used it much. I did a couple tests on it, but really haven't done a whole lot so I don't know that much about it but uh, these are the plates that hold the plastic and I've made different ones um, you see you pull the top off there and then these pins um, go in the holes there to keep everything lined up and then you take your plastic sheet and then you put it in the middle like that and then you sandwich it and then you put it over this this pan I've got rigged up over here and it will heat it up and then when it starts drooping you put it back on the machine and uh, we turn this vacuum on right here and it sucks it down and if you look under here there's there's rubber that creates a seal um, on the on the wood and then it just sucks down and um, the 8x10 is for the smaller plastic and then I made a bigger one too for this will work on 16 by 16 and that uses up the entire surface but I can't show you that one today because I only have this small plastic which is the 8x10 size and this is just acrylic that we bought at the uh, um, I think it was Home Depot so uh, we're gonna fire it up here in just a minute and show you how it works bear with us I am new at this and uh, just kinda learning as I go be back we're using this pan as our heating source to um, heat the plastic up and I just crank it up full bore there it goes okay that's uh, full on right there okay let's uh, see what we're gonna be molding well we have uh, a little box that we thought we would try to vacuum mold so we can hold our SD cards in and uh, we've got a couple old uh, modems here that we thought would be interesting to try to vacuum mold and a processor old Intel probably a Pentium 1 so we'll give that uh, pan a few minutes and meanwhile we'll go ahead and uh, lift this top part off and get our plastic ready this plastic always comes with a uh, film on it maybe we'll see that film on there I'm going to take the film off never had one come off that hard and then there's another piece here on the back I did this the very first time I did this and I, I didn't know it had plastic on it what a mess melted all over this pan okay so uh, it's maybe a sixteenth inch thick it's just frosted acrylic and I've got some lines here that I drew and you can see the dead center on that and then I'll take the top and um, I'll just put it on here to sandwich it all together and uh, okay we're just waiting on the pan as soon as this light goes off that means it will be preheated and then I'll get my gloves on here and I'll take the lid off the pan I'll put this board on top and I'll wait for the plastic to sag and then as soon as the plastic starts to sag I'll pick it up and we'll turn on the vacuum and I'll bring it over here and I'll push it onto our parts 
which we have to place now. So um, we only have a little bit of room. We'll do an easy one first. We'll do um, a little modem and the processor. And I don't know if you can see them or not because it is frosted. Maybe if you look under this part here, under the table here, you can see a little better. We'll try those first and, and see. So give us a minute and we'll wait for the pan to get heated up. We'll be back. I'm looking over here at this little light on the pan. It did go off. I've got this little thermo tester. Let's see just how hot it is. Look at that. It says hi. This thing tops out. At, uh, I want to say 400 degrees so we're there let's get started okay um, I just want to make sure the vacuum works before I do this I'm just going to set this on here and we're waiting for the plastic to start sagging. I'm going to take these dowel pins out of here. Because we won't need those. Let's make sure my parts are nice and square here too. This will be the first time I ever did uh, electronic parts. <laughs> I don't know why you would do it. Maybe for a little case. I don't know. That's just fun though. So you can see the plastic underneath, um, when it starts to sag, you'll notice it'll bow and it will get real rubbery looking. And then that's when you, um, you move. <laughs> so we'll just wait on this. I can check the temperature of the plastic, I guess. So the plastic's 193.3 right now, so it's definitely heating up. I can see it slightly sagging. Okay, in the middle up here, you can really see it starting now. And it's uh, about 222 degrees. See how it's starting to uh, change shapes. And that's what we want. Knowing exactly when the plastic is ready is is uh, basically the the trick to this. It's now at 238 degrees. If you get too impatient and you try to do it before it's fully melted um, it won't form as well it won't form as tight around the part there's 241 degrees uh, to be honest with you I'm not really sure if it's ready or not I don't see it sagging yet. Um, it was sagging and then it it kind of straightened itself back out and I've seen that before too. I guess we just try it and see what happens. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So uh, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. No talking, just do it. So here we go.
the vacuum cleaner is just a plastic pail and it sucks so hard that it it caved itself in. <laughs> I guess I need a metal pail for that. That was kind of interesting. Well, let's see what we have here. It's pretty neat. Let's take it apart. Just gonna pull the first layer off here. It's really not hot. So it's not great, but it's not horrible either. It's custom fit though, I'll tell you that. Let's heat this baby back up and do a do this box. We'll be back in a second. We have our little box lit up here that we're gonna uh, reproduce. And uh, we've been sitting here with our burner on for a few minutes, so here we go. like a pretty good one yeah it's a little rampy I think um, the combination of not having quite enough heat with this pan because it only goes up to 400 degrees and I think we're still using um, not quite the right kind of plastic this is just um, acrylic that you can buy at the Home Depot so it's not really made for uh, vacuum forming but it's still fun to mess around with. Let's take a look at what we have here. You can actually see where the vacuum holes are down here. Perfect mold. Uh-oh. There it is. There it is. So this is Steve. I hope you enjoyed fun with vacuum forming. <laughs> Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.